The all-terrain series of walkers were almost exclusively used by the Galactic Republic, and then later the Galactic Empire. As the name suggests, they were purposely designed to be able to roam any solid environment. First are the all-terrain attack pods, also known as ATAPs. They were unique, three-legged walkers that were equipped with a mass driver cannon in the front. They were mainly used as artillery, setting up in the back and shelling enemy positions. The walker only used two legs when it moved, but when it was set up to use its main cannon, the third leg was brought down to better stabilize it. Second are the all-terrain experimental transports, also known as the AT-XTs. They were the predecessor to the iconic AT-ST and were equipped with two laser cannons and two mortar launchers, allowing them to be more effective in both the front and rear lines of a battle. Third are the all-terrain open transports, also known as the AT-OTs. They were heavily armored, eight-legged walkers that were used to transport troops and military cargo. They were capable of carrying up to 34 troops. Fourth are the all-terrain personal transports, also known as AT-PTs. They were lightly armored walkers that could attack infantry. Along with the AT-XTs, they were also a predecessor to the AT-ST. There was a variant of the ATPT called the Light All-Terrain Personal Transport, which were smaller and had a wider cockpit window. Fifth are the All-Terrain Recon Transports, also known as the ATRTs. They were very fast due to their size, and they had an open cockpit giving the driver good visibility, but making them vulnerable to sniper fire. They were mainly used for reconnaissance missions. Sixth are the All-Terrain Tactical Enforcers, also known as the ATTEs. They were one of the most widely used walkers during the Clone Wars, being capable of numerous roles, including troop transport and fort busting. They were capable of climbing vertical walls and being used in the vacuum of space. Despite being heavily armored, they had many weak points, like their underbelly and the exposure of their gunner to sniper fire. Some were later modified as cargo transports during the Galactic Empire. Seventh are the All-Terrain Riot Control Transports, also known as AT-RCTs. They were created to be used in urban environments like cities. Not much is known about them, other than that they required two drivers. Eighth are the All-Terrain Advanced Raiders, also known as AT-ARs. They were heavier and slower than walkers of similar design, and they were used for supporting fire. Ninth are the All-Terrain Anti-Aircrafts, also known as the AT-AA. As the name implies, they were designed to take out enemy aircraft, but were completely useless against land vehicles. Tenth are the all-terrain armored transports, also known as AT-ATs. Seeing limited use in the later years of the Clone Wars, the AT-ATs soon became the symbol of the Imperial mechanical might. Their long legs allowed them to pass through obstacles that otherwise would be impossible for other walkers to get through. They were one of the most heavily armored walkers used by the Galactic Empire, and they were almost invincible against most forms of weaponry. Despite this, they did have weak spots, like the neck and underbelly. Their long legs also proved to be a weakness, being used to trip the entire walker. There was a variant called the Elite AT-AT Walker, which contained heavier armor and stronger blasters. Eleventh are the All-Terrain Armored Heavy Transports, also known as the AT-AHTs. They were upgraded versions of the AT-ATs. They contained heavier armor and got rid of the weak spots seen on the AT-AT. They were also incredibly massive, having entire armies retreat just at the sight of them. Twelfth are the All-Terrain Scout Transports, also known as the AT-STs. Despite being lightly armored, they were heavily armed and were capable of dealing tons of damage towards enemy infantry and fortifications. There were many variations of this walker, like the all-terrain construction transports, which were modified for construction purposes, and the all-terrain Kashyyyk transports, which were equipped with additional weaponry and large net guns. The all-terrain scout transport assault walkers, which were shorter but more powerful than the standard scout walkers, and the veteran all-terrain scout transports, which were equipped with more armor and massive blaster cannons. Thirteenth are the all-terrain defense pods, also known as the AT-DPs. They were mainly used as police vehicles during the Imperial era, and they were also used to defend Imperial academies. They were heavily armored, but only possessed a single laser cannon. Fourteenth are the all-terrain exploration droids. They are the only walkers on this list that don't require organic pilots for obvious reasons, and they were mainly used for reconnaissance missions. Last are the all-terrain missile platforms, also known as ATMPs. 
They were equipped with various missile launchers, with some models containing a chain gun. There were also a variant, called the All-Terrain Missile Platform Mark III, which contained more missile launchers and stronger armor. And as a bonus, we have the Base Defense Walkers. Although they aren't technically all-terrain walkers, it is believed they replace the AT-AT walkers. Base Defense Walkers were used by the First Order and were primarily used to defend Starkiller Base from land invasions. Not much else is known about them. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.